Hey guys, um, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rachel, um, and if you're not new, then thank you for coming back. Um, I'm just going to be doing a quick video of, it's actually not quick, it's very long and I'm sorry, um, of me reviewing the Jamie Genevieve uh, Vive line. Um, I'm just going to insert a quick clip after this just to show you what the palette looks like and how it came um, and then let you know how I feel about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow Highlight and the Soul Body and Face Bronzer. So I am wearing it right now but like I said I've been wearing a face mask so you can't really see what it looks like um, but yeah hopefully you enjoy and thank you again for watching. So this is my new Vive palette as you can see very nice it's like uh i haven't done my nails yet oh my god don't look at them it's like a croc kind of material with the gold hardware which is beautiful um and i did check it to make sure that none of the pans were loose because i know some people were having that issue mine are all good flipped it upside down onto a towel just to make sure but ugh, you could just see how gorgeous these shades are and they are showing up a little brighter on camera. Like these two shades, the Buff and Chow, they almost look the same, but they're really not. And same with Carrot and Thea. Carrot is kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like a yellowy gold. And Thea is more of like a bronzy tone. Lava Rock does have a slight... Sorry, I got cut off there. Lava Rock does have... A slight amount of purple to it but it looks way more purple in this video than what it does in real life yeah so everything is showing up a little brighter than what it looks to be and that cozy shade is looking very bright orange but it's more like a rusty kind of orange color but yeah it is gorgeous so excited to try it hey guys so as you would have seen I'm gonna be doing a um, tutorial, well, not really a tutorial, maybe just more of like a get ready with me with a few new products that I've picked up. Um, there's not a whole lot. So right now I'm kind of looking a mess because I just have my base done and that's it. No bronzer, no blush, nothing. So um, I did pick up the Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the light color. This was sold out for a little while, so it took me a while to get it, but it's here now. And I'll show you what that looks like. So it just comes with a little um, plastic lid over top. has a few brush hairs in it, so don't mind that. So this is the light color. I would say that's showing up pretty true to color. It does look a little warmer than it does online in person, but whatever. It's all good. Um, and then this is the brush you can I got the combo so I think it was $20 for the brush and the uh, bronzing bomb so this is what it looks like I feel like this is more like you can see I've used it already I would probably use something like this for my face this is what I use with the Huda Tantour the MAC I can't read it this one though I just feel like it's easier to get in like smaller areas whereas this is obviously like a bigger brush but whatever so we'll try that out right now um, and then I have a few other things that I might just leave until I'm finished my bronzer so I'll do that for you so I'm just gonna swirl it in there and I know it's pretty pigmented sorry I have to back up and usually I do my brows after I do my bronzer but I felt naked without any eyebrows so so there's that um, I need a different mirror here because this isn't working um, whatever we'll make it work and so I'm just doing the top of my forehead here hopefully you can see I kind of have to like lean in Trying to avoid my brows. This brow gave me some issues today, but we'll get over it. And some people are saying it kind of feels like 
greasy. I would agree that it kind of feels a little greasy to the touch, but not on your face. Like I think it kind of dries down. So it doesn't make you, like I'm a combination skin type, so it doesn't make me feel oily or anything. And it doesn't mess with my foundation, which I appreciate. So that you can kind of see what that looks like so far. I don't really go in hard when I go back into the pot. So if you're wondering why I keep dipping back in, it's because I'm like barely, I'm just like tapping it. And then I kind of try to get some towards the edge of the brush when I do my cheeks. And then just pull it up. And I always like to just... What I used to do was do my bronzer, but I wouldn't like connect it. I would do my bronzer on my forehead and then my cheek, but then there'd be like a white space there where my concealer was. And I'm like, okay, I look like I have sunglass tan. So let's not do that. It's crazy how much bronzer helps. I remember I used to wear it so wrong. <laughs> back in the day I used to put my bronzer like in the middle of my forehead and then because I have an oily t-zone it would like settle and I'd have like a big brown patch in the middle of my forehead I don't know what was going on there but I think I kind of put it Ooh, see what I mean it is pigmented so I'm just gonna take face brush just kind of blend that out a bit. So I tapped a little too hard, but it'll just go back up here onto the sides. And I don't go under my jaw with this. I'll do it with my powder bronzer. But yeah, it's super nice. It's very natural. It's not uh, over the top. I do just go over it, like I said, with a bit of powder. Just to like set it and keep it there all day. I haven't worn it without powder on top, so I'm not sure. I've heard that it wears well all day, but we can't be sure. Just from what I've seen, apparently it does. Okay, so I'm just putting the top back on. But yeah, this is, I think, a great dupe if you're looking for the tan tour and you want something similar, you don't want to spend that kind of money. It's really nice. So I'm just blending it out a little bit. And then I'll get my powder on top. Really should have tied my hair up for this. Okay, so it just adds a little bit of life to the skin. We're looking more alive here. And I usually just use the e.l.f. bronzer. This is in Forever Sunkissed. This or the Fenty bronzer. I'm not too picky. Um, I want to try... Well, now that I got this, I don't really need it. But I wanted to try the Fenty Cream bronzer in Butter Biscuit. But I think it was sold out for a little while. And then I was just being cheap and I just didn't want to spend money on a bronzer if I didn't need one yet. So maybe when I run out of these ones, I'll try it. But I think this body bronzer is going to last a really long time. Yeah, so I just really like to get in the hairline so that it doesn't look like... Well, people will know you're wearing bronzer, but it doesn't look super artificial I guess if you're blending it up into the hairline this is one thing like I could not I can't go without bronzer sometimes if I try to do like a no makeup makeup look I just look like sickly without it okay so I blend a little bit onto the cheeks for some reason, my camera 
loves to really like brighten everything so the camera looks much brighter like my skin color looks as white as a ghost but I feel like I look a little bit darker than that in real life so I'm just using my phone right so it's not gonna be like super amazing camera quality but it's okay I'm just going under the jawline with that bronzer under the chin and then I just kind of blend it down Don't really spend a lot of time on that part, but so it all blends. Okay, so I think we're good for bronzer. And this is this is a brush that came in a FabFitFun set, so I can't tell you which one it is because I'm not really sure. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's kind of nice because it's like indented, so you can hold it where it's indented. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a blending brush. This is just one from, it's the bronzing powder brush from Quo. If you live in Canada, you'll know what Quo is. It's just a brand that Shoppers Drug Mart carries. So I'm just blending. Oh, and that other blending brush I was using is just the RT201 which is a Real Techniques brush. This is like a little Christmas set brush. I think you could just buy it on its own. It was like a little stocking stuffer. Okay, so we're gonna go into something exciting. I haven't bought a new highlighter in a long time. The last one I bought was this one. I mean like I bought, I bought drugstore highlighters, but I haven't bought like a new, like, you know, you know, a nice expensive one. Not that you need to buy expensive ones. If you're looking for a really good one, a cheap one, um, this one is amazing. This is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter from Wet n Wild, and this is called After Sex Glow. I know they changed the name. Maybe it's a little too risque. So... It's beautiful. So this I would use as like a topper to a blush and this one obviously I've used quite a bit as you can see. I'll show you what that looks like on my hand. Just like a beautiful, it's popping, golden shade. So I'll show you what I got. And I was a little scared about this one because a lot of people were saying that uh, if you're very fair that you have to be careful with this one because it looks better on a deeper skin tone because it has more of like a champagne undertone to it um this is the natasha denona i need a nude glow highlighter it looks like this very pretty like rose gold packaging kind of like patrick taz kind of vibe very nice i think this is limited so if you want it you should get it because it's beautiful big mirror oh god there's a lot of clothes on the floor don't pay attention to that it's laundry day okay um but yeah this is what it looks like so beautiful you can see the nice detail and the i'm like i always hate ruining a product it sounds so weird sorry it's not focusing there we go um but yeah, I hate ruining like the nice texture and like the embossing that they put in it. So there's a little ND in there if you didn't see that. So it does, like if you just look at it, it does look very gold, right? But it actually goes on more of like a champagne-y tone. And it's kind of like a baked gelée texture. I find I do have to go in a little bit harder. So that's what it looks like on my skin. It's weird. It it's like sometimes it swatches almost pinky, sometimes it swatches gold. To me, that looks gold right now. Some people have compared it to Champagne Pop, which I have, and I like Champagne Pop, but I just don't really wear it that often. It's not one of my favorites. But anyways, I'll show you what this one looks like on my skin tone. Um, for reference, I would be around a MAC NC20 and W20. I could kind of go either way, but probably NC. Um, so yeah, I'll just try this out and 
has a nice big mirror, so I'm just going to use the mirror. So we'll go in a couple times with this. See, there you go. You can see it. And going on the other side. It is a tiny bit like more metallic. But I'm here for it. I like it. Um, it's it's just like a nice kind of wet looking highlighter. It doesn't. To me, it's not over the top. I think because it has a little bit more of that kind of champagne-y undertone, it doesn't look like overwhelmingly like blinding or ridiculous. And I don't really find I have a cast or anything when I'm wearing it. So I'm really enjoying it. And I don't regret purchasing this. I did buy it. I actually bought the tan palette first. And I, it wasn't my, wasn't my jam. Um, and the reason being, I think, is because it was too dark. Like the blush, the bronzer looked more like a blush. It was kind of like a deeper tone. I think it was a little bit too dark for me. The highlight, I didn't like the texture of that highlight. The texture of this one is way nicer feel like this one just glides on easily. That one I feel like I had to kind of dig into it. Um, and then I, I don't use cream highlights and I didn't realize there was a cream in there. So yeah, I don't know. I would, for myself, I returned it and I'm so happy that I got this one instead. So we're going to do some more rose gold packaging. This is the Patrick Ta blush and She's Seductive. And my brows are a little uh, wonky today, so don't mind that. I was going to show you a new brow product that I got, but I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So maybe I'll talk about it another time. Um, yeah. It's just like a wax. It's uh, by Fenty. It's a little stick. And I know I should read re re reviews, but, and I did. But everybody's obviously different and we all have different feelings about different products. Like a lot of people said they weren't into this highlight and I love it. So, you know, doesn't mean just because something works for you it won't work for somebody else, etc. Yeah, okay, so that's the blush. Looks a little heavy right now. I'm going to blend it out. In case you don't know, I'm somebody who does enjoy a lot of blush. I hate looking pale. That was like one of my things as a kid. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I have like a severe phobia of like being sick. And so the pandemic is just awesome for me right now. Um, but yeah, so if anybody would be like, oh, you look pale today, I'd be like, why am I sick? <laughs> It's weird. My family gets it. I don't know. Okay, so on to some of the most exciting products that I've just recently gotten. This one is super exciting, okay? ColourPop, love it. Love this. But I was the most excited about this because I haven't... Besides the Natasha Denon Denona um, Glam Palette, I haven't bought a palette in a long time like that was the only one I bought this year oh I'm, I'm lying I bought the Supreme Nudes too by Artist Couture which I love both of them but this one I don't know it was just a different feeling that I got when I ordered it and I was very excited um first of all I bought a new lipstick this is the Beeb lipstick this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all heard the reviews. It looks like Tom Ford. Blee, blee, blee. But this is... Okay. Also, don't pay attention to my nails. I ran out of nail polish remover, so I'm sorry. So this is the Vive lipstick. There's a little V on the top. 
in case you don't know whose brand Aviv is, it's Jamie Genevieve, who is a YouTube creator. And like, she's just so cool. Am I the only one? I know I'm not the only one who thinks that, but like, I don't know, her style, just the way she is, like she's always happy. She does like awesome vlogs. Her dogs are so cute. And yeah, she's just, she seems like a really cool person down to earth. She's not one of those people who's like, massive house tour. Look at my new Fendi bag. It's like, we know. You got money. <laughs> but she's not like that. Um, as far as I know. I mean, I think she she has admitted like she likes nicer things, like, you know, more prestige kind of makeup and skincare, which, I mean, I think we all do. So, but you can still find really good things at the drugstore. I'm not saying they're better, but you can find... I don't know. Whatever. So anyways, I picked up the lipstick and I got it in the shade Veeve. So this packaging is beautiful. Like I said, there's kind of like croc detailing. Um, it feels like leathery. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't feel like it. It just looks like it. The palette feels a little more like leathery. And this is the color. I've clearly used it already. So it looks very orange. I don't know. Sorry, it's not focusing, but it says Vive on the lipstick bullet. It looks orange when you just look at it. When I first saw people trying it, I was like, oh God, that is going to be so orange. But it actually goes on this color. It's lighter than what it looks in the bullet. So be forewarned not look like this um, and this is the palette it's called the essential palette comes in just a little sleeve and I showed you already a little clip of this palette or if I haven't already I will <laughs> I'll put that in there and you can just see the nice texture it's really thin just says Beave right there in the corner. Just a little sticker on the back. Massive mirror. And gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. So, as I will mention, it does look lighter. Like everything looks brighter on my camera than it does in real life. So, they're coming up a little bit brighter than they are in person, but there's some photos that you can find online that show you like the true color. And just for reference, I'm sure you've seen this a hundred times again, but for reference, this is a soft glam palette, which is one of my absolute favorites. Um, these eyeshadows are 0 0.029 ounces each and these eyeshadows are 0.11 ounces each so four times the amount of eyeshadow there are more colors in this palette so as you can see, I usually stick to the neutrals. So you get 14, wait, is that right? Yeah, 14 shadows in here and 10 shadows in this palette, but I'll show you the size difference. Again, I'm sure you've seen people compare them, but okay. Okay, four times. So I know a lot of people were kind of like, oh, it's expensive. And you're right, it's not cheap. If you are buying it in the UK, I believe it's uh, 30 something pounds. Um, if you are Canadian, which I am, this was about $74 Canadian. 
and the lipstick I believe was around 19 pounds and about 30-ish dollars Canadian. So, you know, it's kind of like, who? Oh. But I think it's worth it. So I'm just going to do a quick little shadow look here for you. I'm going to try to do something different. I mean, I know a lot of people doing kind of like similar looks. I'll try to make it as different as I can. I mean, obviously buff is a really beautiful transition shade. This is kind of the type of tone that I always use. Um, in the Anastasia palette, I usually use the orange soda mixed with Did you throw the eggs out? Oh. Sorry, I was really interrupted asking if I threw out some eggs. Anywho, um, so as I was saying, I usually use orange soda uh, mixed with burnt orange in the Anastasia palette, and then I'll throw in a little rust into the crease, and that's like my everyday sort of neutral eye. But yeah, this just blends so easily. Like, honestly, that took five seconds. And it's nice because obviously in those types of palettes with like 14 shades, you're going to run out quickly if you use the same kind of neutral shades all the time. Like, I always use that orange soda and burnt orange in the crease. Luckily, uh, burnt orange is a shade that you can purchase by itself but it sucks like rust I love that color and you can't purchase it alone so you'd have to buy the palette all over again just for that one shade so oof yes love it and as I had mentioned also some people were having issues with I guess the okay i'm just going to quickly talk about this i guess a lot of the shadows kind of were popping out of of the pan and obviously there's an issue with the glue that they were using i haven't really heard anything bad about the lipsticks just some of the highlighters and some of the eyeshadows were popping out because of the glue i i don't know if it has to do with um, the shipping because they are shipped in very skinny boxes so especially for people who are getting it shipped internationally my worry more would be that they would break in the pan I haven't really seen that uh, mostly the highlighters were kind of crumbling a little bit um, but I think that they've really addressed the situation anybody who's talked about having that issue has contacted customer service and I heard that they were just like phenomenal and they resent them new palettes and everything so Things like that happen. I think that's pretty common. Like, I have the Jouer blush and, like, the whole top of the blush. Like, the cute packaging is, like, all coming apart. And I'm like, why? It's just a glue issue. So I think they know that that's an issue. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have that figured out. So I'm excited to see what else she's going to come out with. I didn't get the highlight because I had just bought that Natasha Denona highlight. So... A little sad about that, but whatever. Could always get it next time. I think I would get that holy chic color. I feel like the the lightest one might be a little too light for me. I could be wrong. Why is this not focusing? Okay, here we go. So I might do something. There is a tiny bit of kick up. Not a lot. Sorry, I should have shown you, but I just blew it away. I'm going to use Lava Rock. I haven't seen a ton of people using this shade. So I know Jamie just posted a tutorial. I was like, damn it, Jamie, you beat me to it. Um, using Lava Rock all over her lid. So I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do a different kind of look than she used. I'm just using a... This is a Smashbox brush. I think it came in one of my palettes. So I'm going to do Lava Rock all over the eye. It's kind of like a grayy purpley look. I haven't used this color yet. 
So I've been basically just using that uh, buff shade mixed with Thea and Carrot, which are those beautiful shimmery kind of shades. And this is kind of like a more, on this side it's a blending brush, on this side it's more like a packed kind of dense, denser brush. And these are just going on so easily, like honestly I'm barely even doing any work and it's just beautiful. Yes. Okay, does anybody watch The Masked, the Masked Singer? I don't love that show, but like... I watch it sometimes with my parents. How many times does Jenny McCarthy say, yes, yes? I'm like, you need to calm down on the yeses, girl. Grand. I like her, but yeah, I was like, what the heck? Did she say anything else? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going on this side, doing the same thing. Sorry, I know it's kind of boring. I should have just done one eye, but yeah, now. And that's a really nice color for brown eyes. If you're like me and you don't have beautiful blue eyes and green eyes. I feel like this orangey reddish tone would look so nice on a green eye. Actually, I think this one would too. Purples really look beautiful on a green eye. Okay, so I just have those two shades in. On, not in. And I think I'm going to go in next with Glimmer. I'm just kind of deepening this up a tiny bit. Glimmer is the shade right here. It's more of like a shimmery, glimmery shade. Okay, so this is another Real Techniques brush. I think this is a face shadow brush. Going in the corner of my eye. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I know I can kind of ramble on and on, but you know, I'm really passionate about this, so. And that's beautiful. Some people were complaining about the uh these two shades here this one's thea and then this one which is carrot that they don't like perform super well but people keep putting them on with brushes and i'm like if we've learned anything from working with shimmers or like glitters it's that they go on best with a wet brush or like they're just using a dry brush and they're like bing and they're like oh my god uh Sparkles going all over the place. Oh, this is not sticking to my eye. And I'm like, you need a wet brush. <laughs> or your finger. Like, I find your finger, you can just, like, pack it on with your finger. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go into Thea first. And I kind of had the same, like, even though I did use my finger, I kind of had the same, like, oh, I thought it would be, like, a little bit stronger on my eyelid. Like, more, like, pigmented and sparkly. But when you look at it in the light... It is the most beautiful sparkle you've ever seen. And I prefer more of like a micro glitter to a shimmer. I'm not like a huge shimmer person. I love like a little twinkle. Like, ugh, ugh, just like does it for me. So I'm putting the uh, in the middle of the lid. So like you can see, you don't see a whole lot. So I just go in a second time. And this is a darker color, so obviously because I'm putting it over top of a deeper color, it's not going to be as noticeable. When you put it, like if I was just doing buff in the crease, and then I put Thea just all over the lid, it's obviously way more pigmented, and you can see that color. Um, it's kind of like a bronzy, greeny gold. Um, but now I'm going to go into Carrot, which is that more goldy shade, again with my finger. And I'll put that right 
in the center. See what I mean? Finger. And I just think that looks so cute. Okay, so I'm going to just do the same on my other eye here. I'll try to kind of speed it up a little bit, just so you're not super, super bored. Just get that carrot shade on the lid. Like this one obviously shows up way more because it's a lighter shade on top of a darker shade. And that's something that I love about Jamie is that, or Jamie's brand I should say, is that Jamie was a working makeup artist. So she knows, she knows what to put in here. She knows what we're looking for, like what, what are basic shades that we would use on a regular basis. Also, I forgot to show you the little card that it came with. Sorry, I folded it, but that's so beautiful. Like, look at that eye look. That is like, this is like my normal everyday kind of makeup. So anyways, it just says Vive. Thank you for joining our Vive community. Vive is born from real life stories and conversations surrounding the positive impact that makeup has and its confidence boosting abilities. Our goal to help spark creativity in your makeup routine. We aim to create beautiful formulas made to work, combining luxurious products and performance staples to feel like treasures in your makeup collection. All our products are designed to make it easy for you to take your makeup from effortless to experimental. We'd love to see your signature looks. Follow us or follow and tag us at Vive Muse, hashtag Vive Muse. We're so excited to have you as part of our worldwide community of muses. Yeah, so I thought that was cute. It's all right. So anyways, okay. So I'm gonna just go in under the eye. I'm gonna try to use a different color so you can kind of see the different shades look like. And I'll try to hurry it up a little. Can't find what brush I'm looking for. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to take a blending brush because I can't find what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go into Delicious, which is that warmer, deeper brown. I'm going to take that under the eye. Try to keep my mouth closed. <laughs> Tell my boyfriend I'm doing video. Stay out there. Comes in. Brought me a cracker and cheese though, so I appreciate it. Anything with food. Knows how to win my heart. Okay, so I'm just going in with Delicious. Under the eye. Smoking it out just a little. I'm kind of mixing it into that buff shade. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more buff. And just... Kind of drag it out. You know what? I'm just going to go back into this brush, even though I used Lava Rock on it. I feel like it's good for under the eye. Oh, yeah. That kind of came out way more pigmented than... Than expected. <laughs> Okay, so again, I'm taking a little bit of that buff and just kind of blending it on the outside and blending it out. I usually do like a rounder smoky eye. I'm trying to kind of like wing it out a little bit more, but yeah, it's just what I'm used to. Okay, so now we got a little smoky smoke on the under eye. I'm going to go in with an angled brush. And I really want to like do like a layered kind of eyeliner look. So I'm going to go in with Delicious first, which is that dark brown again. And 
and put that on top. Kind of smoke it out. And if you're worried about losing some of that glitter, or not glitter, but like shimmer uh, from the lid, I always just go in like after I'm done the liner and just tap a teeny tiny bit just right in the middle. Usually I would take like an eyeliner or something like Whiskey is one of my favorite colors from Urban Decay. And then just kind of blend that out. But I think that works just as good. So now I'm going to go in with Good Night, which is that black color. And go just a little bit underneath that deep brown. And just kind of like marry it all together. It's hard because I'm doing this from far too, so I mean I could just use the palette. Done, done. Okay, so I like the way that looks. Kind of like winged out a little bit. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to just take my black liner and tight line. I'm just using the CoverGirl Ink It liner. Sorry if you're grossed out by that. And just put it on the bottom lash line. I mean, you could have used whiskey as well, but I want it to be a little more smoky. I literally had no idea what I, what kind of makeup I was going to do today. All I knew is that I wanted to use that Lava Rock color. Because I hadn't used it yet. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Again, that's brighter here. Like right now, it looks pretty smoky. But I'm just going to take that carrot shade again. I'm going to mix it with Thea. These two glitters and just punch it right in the corner again and maybe just to give myself a teeny tiny bit more smokiness i'm going to take delicious that chocolate brown and just add it to the outer corner just a, just a pinch and i don't really use lashes anymore i don't know why i tried using them not that long ago and i was like mm. I just feel like they don't suit me. I feel like I need to do what Jamie does and get like a pair of corner lashes maybe. Because I feel like there's something that I don't like and I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, so I'm going to finish up my other eye and I'm going to put mascara on. I'm probably going to either be using... don't know how I feel about this yet. This is the L'Oreal... Air Volume Mega Mascara. It's brand new though, so you know when you just get a new mascara and you're like, I don't know. Um, or I'll just be using good old tried and true Lash Paradise. I think that's what I'm going to use. So I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I did my lashes. I just used Lash Paradise on the top. And then on the bottom I used the uh, CoverGirl. Sorry, camera's over here exhibitionist on the lower lashes I really like both of those mascaras so either one and then I just uh, did a little notes contour and put my lip liner on so the lip liner I was using is the NYX suede matte lip liner and I believe this is sandstorm looks like this I'm gonna go in with the lipstick which I've already used so I know how I feel about it Although, there are some days it looks warmer on me and some days it looks cooler. Yesterday, it was a cool day, so I was like, yes. But can you see, it definitely goes on lighter than what it looks like. And... The smell. 
can't even describe the smell. It's like vanilla marshmallow chocolate deliciousness. See, like on camera, it's pulling a little more warm than what it looks in real life, but I really like it and I'm really happy with my purchase. It's very similar to, I don't know if you've watched my uh, nude video, nude video, I didn't do a nude video, my nude lipsticks video. Um, where I was saying I like like a cooler nude. It's very similar to Sand from Dose of Colors or um, like a Staycation from Huda, which is one of my faves also. I'll just show you what they look like. So Huda Vive. It's very similar. This one looks like a tiny bit cooler, but sometimes it can be a little bit too cool where you're like, Am I dead? <laughs> but yeah, this is everything. I hope you enjoyed the look. Oh, I got mascara off there. Don't pay attention to that. I forgot to take that off. So what I do when I get mascara up there is I take a little spoolie and just knock it off. And then I would just go back in with a little blending brush. And just blend it right out. And she gone. So yeah, don't try to get it off when it's wet. Just knock it off when it's dry. And I'm sorry my hair's a little crazy today. I need to wash. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, I would give these an A+. Plus. Really like them. And I do not regret purchasing either of them. I got to try some different colors that I haven't tried yet today and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that this is like a very long video but I really appreciate everybody who watches, likes, and subscribes and I love you. Bye!